Hello there, everyone, and welcome to uh, my first uh, countdown video on the channel. Uh, the future ones will be a lot more, well, I guess, a lot better than this one. But because I've got uh, my nephew over and he's only four, I've got to, I don't really have time to edit much. But yeah, today we're going to be doing my top five favourite Lego sets that I own. So yeah, I just realised now I only really have my top three. But yeah, let's do this. Coming in at number five, I literally just thought of these, like the, like the obvious. Number five is the Dragon Pit from Lego Ninjago. Great set, you know, great minifigures. They're not here, they normally are. Um, they're in the top down there. Uh, yeah, it's a great set. The voice crack. <laughs> great set. Uh, this one comes with a little dragon. That's Stormbring Dead, doesn't come with this, obviously. Uh, but yeah, great set. I really like the phone as well, just, you know. Well, I wish it could have been, like, the whole thing now. been crazy amount of pieces and a lot more expensive. So, you know, just a great set. And then number four, we have the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon from the Lego Ninjago movie. Just, again, another um, great set. Uh, this is why I actually was like, excited for this more than the bounty, but uh, in the end, I like the bounty more. Also, just ignore this. And there's soft figures on there. Um, uh, but, yeah. Um, I guess I've kind of spoiled that the bounty's going to be on this list, but never mind. You probably knew it would be on the list anyway. But yeah, uh, not really that ac like the outside's accurate, but the inside isn't really that accurate to the, uh, the film. If you've seen the film, you probably have. Um, uh, but yeah, no, just another great set. Moving on to number three, we have Kylo and Shuttle from the S Rise of Skywalker, like, sub-theme, I guess. Um, shocked about, like, I how good this is. I was recommended it by, uh, Preston Varner on, uh, my Lego Star Wars set collection. And, uh, this is my May the Fourth set. It's just absolutely magnificent. All five of these sets are absolutely magnificent. Um, you know, surprised how tall it was. Some great features. Like, the flight position, obviously, very accurate. Um, the wings come down, you know, opens at the bottom and the top, it's great. Okay, before I give you my top two, I want to give an honourable mention to the 20th anniversary slave one. Uh, my only slave one, of course. Um, you know, just great. Um, really glad I have it. One was just like, hey Matt, I'm, I've got you this set. It's like, oh my god. Um, yeah, I thought, but because I got this set, I wouldn't be able to get a made a fourth set, but you know, I of course did, because you know. Well, it was... Oh, okay. Sorry, my little voice. That was my golden voice. Oh, yeah, slave one. Great set. That was my honourable mention. Coming in at number two. You can see a bit of my street, but not very well. Coming in at number two, we have the... Um... Kessel Romanian Falcon from the Solo movie sub-theme. One, but actually, I've been thinking about it. I think Solo might be my least favourite Star Wars film, like, because it, you know, they have the whole sequel trilogy, you know. Whilst well, it shouldn't exist, like, it does exist, and it actually adds to that. Whereas Solo doesn't really add anything, like, you can just skip it, which is what I did. It's only to watch the but yeah. Um, another great set, really. Oh, uh, this was my favourite set until I thought about it. You know, I guess I was just told you number one, but oh well. Oh uh, yeah, just like another great set. That's what I'm, I feel like I'm saying. Before I show you what you already know is my number one, I'd just like to give a sh another honourable mention to the Yoda from last year. Um, another great set. Um, yeah, I don't want to show you my street for too long, so that's why I kind of lost over. We're coming in at number one. You already know it. You probably knew it before you clicked on this video, but you already knew it because I said it like twice. Like it's going to be on this list by accident earlier. The Lego Ninjago movie, Destiny's Bounty. I have no idea how, how loud that sounded. I'm sorry if it made your ears bleed. But yeah, the uh, Lego Ninjago movie, Destiny's Bounty, is just absolutely magnificent. I love this set. My biggest set, my only set with over 2,000 pieces. 
all the other sets on this list, including the honorable mentions, I've had over a thousand, but this is the only one with over two thousand pieces. It's just great. It is truly, absolutely magnificent. Just great. Um, yeah, so that is my list. Maybe if I thought about it a bit more, uh, some sets might be out of going on the list um, instead of some others, and some sets may have been in a different order. Um, but yeah, that is my top five favourite Lego sets I own. This is probably going to be something I do yearly if I get new sets that will make the list. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, like and subscribe if you want, and I hope you enjoyed this video, bye!